Hi, today I'm going to walk you through usage of my YouTube Handles project, which allows you to easily search large quantities of usernames for usage on YouTube, or handles as they call them, as YouTube is just making them available now. Before we get started, I'm not responsible if your account gets banned, so please be careful and use this at your own risk. I recommend using an alternate Google account to run the program and you can still activate any usernames you find on your main one. First, navigate to youtube.com slash handle. Once you've done so, click the Change Handle button. Next, press your F12 key to open your developer tools. For now, you'll need to use Firefox to do this, as Chrome uses differently formatted save files. Next, open the Network tab. If there are any requests in there, you should clear them out using the trash can button in the top left of Firefox developer tools. Once you're ready, type one additional character at the end of your suggested YouTube handle, so the site performs a request to check whether it's available. Once the request appears, right click on it and select save all as HAR. Later, our program will use this to effectively pretend it is your browser. So YouTube thinks you're just typing all these potential usernames into the search box. Next, go to the GitHub repo. It should be linked in the description. Either download the zip of the repo or clone it if you know how to do so. If you downloaded the zip, extract it to its own folder somewhere. Then, drag the HAR file we saved earlier into that new folder. Next, open up a blank text document in Notepad or a similar raw text editor. Type one potential username on each line. You can also obviously find pre-existing lists elsewhere and adapt them. Just make sure you stick to the proper format. When you're done, save that document as usernames.csv into the YouTube handles folder from earlier. Double check that your folder looks the same as mine, and then we can proceed to the next step. You'll need Python installed for the next step, links for which can be found in the description. Use version 3.10 if you can. Once you have Python installed, open your terminal or CMD. Type cd, then the folder path of your YouTube handles folder. Yours will differ somewhat, but it should look vaguely similar depending on where you have your folder saved. Folder paths for Windows users will start with C colon or whichever drive you're using. I recommend simply typing CD then dragging the folder into the terminal which will enter the path. Once you've done that, hit enter. Next, run pip install r requirements.txt which will install the dependencies you need to run my program. Finally, we can run the program using the command python3 space handle underscore search dot pi. You should expect to wait a little while depending on how many potential usernames you have prepared. Don't close this early as your results aren't saved until the program finishes running. It's important to mention that this will not work with brand new Google accounts. If you're seeing errors with code 200, that probably means your account is too new. Once it completes, the results will be saved to results.csv in your YouTube handles folder. The results can be viewed in either a text editor like Notepad or a spreadsheet editor like Excel. The headings are in the first row, and in the left column, the username is displayed along with the result of whether it was found to be available on the right. False means it's unavailable, and true means it's available. I hope this was helpful. Please let me know if you end up using my program and find it useful. If you run into problems, please feel free to submit an issue on my GitHub repo, though be aware that it may be some time before I get to it. Thanks for watching.